hello in this video i will show you how to install and configure woodmart theme on wordpress so here in this article you will find all the relevant information you need like the link to the themes and the hosting so to get this you can check the link provided in the description if you want to get the woodmart theme you can go to the article and just click on this download button to download the theme so you will get a file like this after downloading the theme so once you will extract it so i have already extracted it here you can see all the theme files so once you have extracted it and make sure the uh, theme file are in there so you can just uh, go back to your wordpress dashboard so if you don't have currently wordpress installed and you need a web hosting you can use one of these three uh, web hosting so i personally recommend bluehost because bluehost is one of the fastest once you have purchased the web hosting from bluehost you will be uh, you can easily access this wordpress dashboard so once you are into the dashboard now you are ready to install your theme and and to create your website so currently if we go to the website main page here you can see the default theme and that comes up when you install a fresh wordpress so to install the theme you will go to appearance and then themes so to install a theme uh, that uh, you have purchased or like you have downloaded from any other website and it's not on wordpress directory you can click on this upload button to upload your theme file and here you will have to choose and select the zip file that you have downloaded from theme forest and once you have selected the zip file you will just click on install now this may take some time depending on the size of the theme you have uploaded so you can see that the theme is now uploaded so now we can activate it so the theme is installed and now if we go back to the front page and refresh it here you can see some changes on the website so that makes sure that our theme is installed and here you can see the woodmart logo and now if we go back to the dashboard we see this and now we have to configure our theme so uh, now we can configure it and we can also install the dummy content so let's start So if you have the purchase code you can add it and agree to activate the theme otherwise you can just skip this Now if you want to install the child theme you can install it otherwise you can just skip it Here you can select elementor click on next step and here you have to install all of these plugins so just install them one by one so it was just taking a lot of time in installing the plugins so i just skipped that part of the video so once you have installed all the plugins you can click on next step and now is the important part now you have to select which demo that you want to import into your website so this will actually design your website completely and you will be able to make changes using elementor so customization will not be a problem so for example let us view this preview you can check any preview search for the preview like if you want to 
install a cosmetic theme or if you want to install a real estate theme you can just select it and you can install the one if it is available so here is the megamart theme mega market theme that i open actually the demo of woodmart so this is the demo version so you can install any one so i just open this one to show you an example so now let us install one of these one of these so i actually want to create a jewelry website so i will type jewelry over here and here you can see the jewelry demo is available so there are hundreds of demos available in the woodmart theme so you can select any one that you like so here is the one that i am going to install and configure so i can close and i will click on import so it will start importing so once the import process is completed we will be able to see the design over here on our website so let's wait for it so the demo is now imported we can go to the website and refresh so here you can see that the demo is now imported yeah so here you can see the preview it's working fine so this is instagram that is embedded from default we can change it to our own and here are the blog posts then we have the products categories and a slider so now we can click on next step and the everything is ready so now we can change the logo and the colors maybe or we can also upload products add categories and do all the other steps that are needed to complete the store so let's upload the logo for to upload the logo you will go to woodmart and header builder and here you can upload your logo that will show up over here so here is the header that we have to change so we will click on edit so here is the logo we will click on edit and upload our logo so here is the logo that client gave me so i will upload it save save header now go back to website refresh so here you can see the logo is now uploaded so now we can change the menu because we don't want to show all the pages that are currently showing to change the menu go to appearance and then menus click here and then you have to select main navigation so the pages are like duplicated so we can remove these i think there was some problem while i uploaded the demo that this may not be the case with you because my internet was slow and that is why i think they just duplicated you can also add new pages into the menu from here here you have all the pages showing so let's save it we can also select it as main menu and mobile side menu and then we can click on save menu so go back to website and refresh and here you can see the menu is now changed and we can also turn off these mega menus 
we will open the menu and then under drop down we will select none same with the show page save go back to the website and refresh now you can see that they are gone so now if you want to change images and the text you will just click on this you will just go to the page first of all that you want to edit like if you want to edit about us page you will go to that page and here you will click on this edit with elementor button you can edit all the pages in the same way so just click on this edit with elementor button and here you can change any text or image like you will just click on the section and then here you can add any new content into the section or you can remove it and you can similarly you can change the images you will click on image and then choose another image from the media gallery and that will be changed and similarly you can edit anything on the website so just click on the thing that you want to edit and then replace it so you can go to products to add new products into your store go to products all products so here you can delete all of them if you want to you can move them to trash and click on apply and that will be and they will be deleted to add a new product just click on this add new button and here you will get a form where you will just type in the title here you will type the title here you will add the description and the price and here you can add the product images you can also select the categories from here if you want to add a new category just go to products and then categories and here you can create new categories then to receive payments from your store you will click on woocommerce you will go to settings here you will go to payments and here you can select any payment gateway that you want to use you can also discover new payment gateways if that if your payment gateway is not available here you can install paypal or other payment gateways as well you can also install plugins like if you want to add paypal you can add new plugin paypal and that will show the paypal button in the payments so here is you can see we have several paypal plugins you will just click on install and they will start showing in the WooCommerce payment section here here you will see the PayPal button or Stripe or whatever you can want to install you can install them so that's how you can create and manage your WordPress store using Woodmart theme so if you have any question just let me know in the comment section you can also contact me by going to my blog you can get the link of this article from the description and you can contact me by going to this contact page and here you will find a form that you can fill and i will reply you within a few hours so thanks for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more related videos